I am doing a dessert that is a somewhat of a play off of an Italian pudding. I wanted something that would be a little bit richer than a traditional like bread pudding or anything like that that we would do. Um, so a budino is similar to an American pudding, only it has egg yolks in it as well as a cornstarch so that it'll hold its shape a little bit better. But I really wanted something that would look nice on the plate itself. So I actually did mine in a mold and froze it so that way I could pick it up and set it on a plate, hopefully without dropping it. On top of the budino, you'll see I have, it's actually a caramel custard as well. It's a little bit softer. Um, we make those in a mold as well, so I have to uh, put that on top when it's still frozen. So I had to done that before we came out here. I have a couple more that I am putting one more on there. Sometimes desserts do not like to behave. So when it comes to plating, I kind of, I play around a lot before it goes on a plate in front of somebody else. You know, you gotta think of it more like artwork when it comes to plated desserts because you need to have a little bit of balance. Like in art school, you know, you learn about the number three, you want things all in odd numbers. I, I break that rule sometimes, sometimes often. Just depends on what I'm making. Sometimes doing three of something is too much for the plate flavor-wise. So that's your most important part. This is a little bit of chocolate sponge. It's a oil-based sponge, so it stays nice and moist when I break it up into these pieces. Um, but it's nice and rich. And it gives a little bit of a texture change from the custard, which is rich and smooth. And then you want to always add a little bit of crunch to your dessert. So I always try to find a way to incorporate that. This time around I did, it's actually dry cake crumbs to give you a little bit of crunch, a little bit of change in the texture. And this one, I did the caramel sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit more caramel sauce here in just a second. But when you're finishing, you wanna use something that's got a little bit of flake to it. You don't wanna use table salt. Nobody wants to bite into a big old piece of table salt. So this is Meldon, and it's got a nice flake. It melts as soon as it hits your tongue. If you bite quick enough, it does have that crunch too. But it complements the caramel and the brown sugar in the budino so well. You always want to find some movement on the plate too. And adding the sauce like this with the dots, it definitely gives you a little bit more movement in the plate. And then to build off that height just a little bit more, we're going to do a nice chocolate curl with some tempered dark chocolate. There you go.